Disney's Encanto. So, um, I, I'll be honest, I had no idea that this movie existed at all until all of a sudden my Facebook was like blowing up with everybody talking about this movie or putting like the vague line of, we don't talk about Bruno. And you're just like, what am I missing? So, I got on the Encanto train and I haven't looked back. <laughs> it's it's phenomenal, and I'm in love with this song in particular because who doesn't love a strong Disney role model? You know, like, oh, so good. So, so, so good. Um, I'm really excited to be doing this exercise, this combination with you. Uh, this is intermediate, for sure. Um, and it's I'll have some options for you in certain places. It definitely is intermediate, like, intermediate advanced I would say as far as like the rhythm of it because we're going to be dancing during the pauses in the, like the pause in the beginning you know how like everything stops I know in the movie they like there's stuff going on but like when you just listen to the song it stops so we're going to be tapping through that and that's really difficult because you need to make sure you know the tempo so that you stay in time so that when the music comes back you're right on it so that's really the challenge today also, I know a lot of you have been asking me to do a video in my new tap boots. I wanted to, I wanted to throw this out there because I know people are going to be like, she's not wearing the boots. Um, first of all, you guys can see my feet better in the white shoes, which is why I wear them for these videos. I'll probably make some videos with the, the boots. They're like right here. I'll probably make some videos with the boots, um, like just random videos, but you guys can see my feet better on this floor with the white shoes and the most important thing is that you guys can see my feet. So I'm going to stick with the white shoes for tutorials. But also, um, for some reason my right shoe is squeaking and I'm not really sure why, so I didn't want it to mess up the video, so I didn't wear that. So I probably just have to like tweak it with a screwdriver, I'm not sure. So anyway, surface pressure, intermediate, Let's go. Sorry for the long-winded intro. Okay, so you're gonna hold the first eight counts. When, okay, she's singing, and this cover is really like casual. Disney's real funny about people posting their songs, so I had to find like a really casual acoustic cover. They're actually really, really great. The guitarist is fantastic. I think it's the guitarist channel. I'll link it down below. Um, so you're holding the first eight counts, and then you start tapping on the silence. So you really, really got to tune into those first eight counts. Like, okay, I got this. It's the, I'm the strong one, that part. So you're listening to that and getting the tempo into your feet. Then you have a cramp roll. Okay, so it's a cramp roll. And then toe, toe, heel, heel. So one cramp roll and then toe, toe, heel, heel. No. Cramp roll, toe, toe, heel, heel. I wrote it backwards, I don't know why. So you have one cramp roll, and then toe, toe, heel, heel. Then, that is a prep for a pullback, but I do have an option for you if pullbacks are not in your vocabulary yet. So if one, two, three, and three, and four, and, then you have a pullback, pullback, ball change. So it'll go one, two, and three, and four, and five, one and two and three and four and five and a six, seven. So there's a pause after the pullback that five and a six, seven, eight. If you don't want to do the pullback, you substitute with another cramp roll. It makes the exact same rhythm and the rhythm is the game for this one. So if you're not doing the pullback, it's five and a six, Seven, eight. 
So it's a triplet. Five and up, da 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 six. Five and a six, seven, eight, okay? But if you're doing the pullback, here's an, here's an even bigger challenge. Making that pullback, five and a six. So you gotta separate the pullback just a little bit. One and two and three and four and five and a six, seven, eight. All right, let's try it. Five, six, seven, eight. Good. Also, I need to unsleep my computer because my intro was that long winded. All right, step, step, heel, heel, toe, toe, heel, heel, pull back, ball change. One more time. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. Then, paradiddle, paradiddle, double paradiddle stamp. So you have two paradiddles. Then you have dig, spank, dig, spank, step, heel, stamp. So double paradiddle in the stamp. So let's try that together. Five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. Then you do the exact same thing, but instead of a double paradiddle, you have shuffle, shuffle, step, heel, stamp. So it's two shuffles, step, heel, stamp. And then step heel, stamp. You've got to remember that step heel because it keeps the rhythm for you. So it sounds the same, but it looks different. It sounds almost the same. Paradiddles and shuffles have like a very, very subtle timbre change. But other than that, um, all right, let's try it from paradiddle. Ready? Five. Six, five, six, seven, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more time. I got stuck on the paradiddle for some reason. One more time. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Better. Okay. Let's go from cramp roll, and then we'll try it with music so you can see what I mean. Ready? Six, five, six, or three, yes, this is on the this is on the silence. Sorry, I had the wrong part of the song in my head. Five, six, five, six, cramp roll. Seven, eight. All right, not bad. Let's try it one more time. I'll try to give a better physical cue. One more time. Five, six. than this but for learning purposes I did slow it down for the video if you're not crazy it's definitely slow <laughs> but you can always speed it up on your own and try it faster later but I figured because it's an intermediate level let's keep it slow to learn it and then we'll try it fast or you can try it fast later all right let's try it again let's get a little bit more comfortable with it we'll be all right really get into that tempo to go with on that silence. But if you do it with the original, 
it's not there. So for learning purposes, this is amazing. It really, really helps us learn it. Then we take it and make it a little bit more complicated by doing it to the original, which does not have anything there. All right, so let's try it one more time and then we will move on to the next section. I'm starting at like the musical end of the last section that silent four count is technically the end of the phrase before but we're starting with that because the tap steps that go there lead into the step at the start of the next section I hope that made sense but here we are so you just did the next rhythm is 5e and a 6e and a 7 8 and 5e e and a 6e e and a 7, 8, 8. So there's like a pause, da, da. It's a little pause in between. That's really important to note because you're doing a ball change. So you have to have all the control in the world over that ball change. It's a pretty simple line. It's step shuffle, step shuffle, step shuffle. But you pause after that shuffle before you start that ball change. I almost fell over. I don't know if y'all saw that, but I almost like fell toward my uh, fireplace, but that's fine. It is very, very cold in here. So, so you're there. 5e and a 6e and a 7, and then 8 and ball change. So step shuffle, step shuffle, step shuffle, ball change. 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, does that make sense?
<laughs> I was like trying that whole time not to sneeze. All right, one and two and three and four and five and six and seven, eight. So in order to get that rhythm, we have to start with the step on one. Like that's just how we get the rhythm in using this phrase. So think about it however you need to think about it, but to break it down, it's If it helps to not think about them as drawbacks, don't think about them as drawbacks. If it helps to say, well, it's a step and then three and a half drawbacks, that's fine too, because it could be step and then you have So you land with two toes instead of a step. However you want to think about it, that's fine. But broken down, it's four sets of step spank heel and then toe toe. Okay? It's really helpful, depending on how many different choreographers you work with, it's really helpful to not only know the step, but to know the parts that make up the sum of the step. A drawback is spank heel step for all intents and purposes, but it can be done starting on any part. You can go, I've done that. I've absolutely done that. In a class in New York City, we went, so you started with the step with the heel. Most people don't do that. That's fine. It's really, really helpful to know the parts that make up the sum so that when somebody changes it up on you, it's easy to change. Okay? Okay. So, step, spank, heel, step, spank, heel, step, spank, heel, step, spank, heel, toe, toe. Ready? Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Good. One more time. Five, six, Seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. So let's add it on from here. So that's how it fits together. There's really not a pause between here. So it's step shot, step shot, step shot, step shot. It's right away. Okay? So from step shot, five, six, first time never counts. So just whatever happens with this run, it is the first time. It is ground zero, the base. It's just, this is where we're starting. And then we go from there. I don't know why I went all like glittery real quick. <laughs> So when you try it to the original, that's a thing. <laughs> I'll probably post a video of it with the original on Instagram or TikTok just because they're a little bit more lax about music, sort of. They are and they aren't. It's so strange. All right, let's try it again, second time through, getting a little bit more comfortable with it, okay? One more time, one more time, and then we will 
we'll move on to the very last section. It's only three sections. I know, I know it's a little short, but I wanted to make sure that it was doable at an intermediate level and it wasn't too long of a combination. So let's try it. Ready? I'm the strong one. I'm the nervous. Five. I'm the safe. I'm the best. as many times as you need to and then meet me back here when you're ready. All right, so this next part, the diamonds and platinum, that thing, we're going to be right on the words. The rhythm is going to be one and a two and three and a four and one and a two and three and a four and very syncopated. The step is super simple though. You step, heel, toe, chug, chug. So one and a two, three. So it's very, very syncopated. You want to make sure you're adding space between each note. Step, heel, toe, chug. So just let's just do that. Step, heel, toe, chug, chug. Five, six, seven, eight. Step, heel, toe, chug. Good. One more time. Five, six, seven, eight. Step, heel, toe, chug, chug. Good. Left side, same thing. Start turned in, drop your heel, move your toe, chug, chug. All right, so step, heel, toe, chug, chug on the left. Five, six, seven, eight. Step, heel, toe, chug, chug. Good. So let's do right and then left. Step, heel, toe, chug, chug. Step, heel, toe, chug, chug. So it's that diamonds and platinum thing. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Then you finish this line with paradiddle, 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 step, stomp. And my hands went here. Probably because time steps are next. So in five minutes, and a seven, and a eight. So it's on the what that she says. All right, I think it's what. I might be wrong. But it's like she like kind of shouts it. Now, in the original version, she does not shout it right on beat. So if you want to be with the word, try to hone in on when that happens. It is on beat in this version, though. So we're going to be doing it on beat. Like, it's like right on eight. But in the original, she's a little off the beat, which is so fascinating. So if you're going to practice this to the original, and when I film it to the original, if I'm going to, then, like, you'll see. It goes, mm. It's just right after the beat. All right, so you just did one and a two and three and a four and five and a and a seven and a eight, eight. Let's put all that together. Five, six, seven, eight. Good. This leads you into some single time steps. So it goes eight, one, two. As far as that goes. Two single time steps, stomp hop, that's it for the time steps. So two full time steps and then a stomp hop. So let's try it. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. So you gotta stop at that one. One more time. And if you haven't learned a time step yet, it's right in the step tutorial down below. I promise you, go learn it, come back to this video. Got there's single, double, and triple down there. And traveling. I've done a lot of time steps. All right, so let's try it out from the time step again. Starting on eight. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One. From here, you have three shuffle step heels. You have eight, 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 eight
that's it. Just shuffle, step, heel, shuffle, step, heel, shuffle, step, heel. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, six. Three shuffle, step, heels, right, left, right. It adds on like this. You'll go five, six, seven, eight. So stomp, hop, shuffle, step, heel, shuffle, step, heel, shuffle, step, heel. The heel's getting the down beats. All right, let's try from time step. Ready? Five, six, five, six, seven. Good. Last part. Your left foot is free. You start with two time steps on the left. Now, the weird thing about the second time step, you're gonna put your weight on the left, um, you're gonna put your weight on the left uh, foot at the end. It's called a foot, apparently. <laughs> I just couldn't find the word. So it's eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So at the end, you're gonna push your weight forward on that full lap step. It's not full lap step stomp, it's full lap fall change or full lap step step. So you've got to put weight on that left foot at the end of it. So left foot, two time steps into full up ball change. Let's try it. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, one more time. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last thing of the whole piece, and you can substitute the pullbacks for cramp rolls all the time. You have fall, change, pull back, pull back, fall, change. Fall, change, da 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 da, da 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 da, fall, change. Whether you're doing it with pullbacks or cramp rolls, you're making the rhythm either way. Okay, so from the first time step, it sounds like this. You go five, six, seven, eight. Can we try that together? Let's try that together, and then we'll go back to the... And then we'll try that section with music, and then we'll go run it from the beginning, all right? Okay, so, from the time step, five, six, five, six, seven,
off the beat on that stomp. But let's keep it on beat for the purposes of learning this combination and then you can mess with it however you want to later. I don't know how I'm gonna mess with it for this complaint. All right, let's just do that ending one more time and then we'll go from the top, all right? I'm worth his
today's tutorial was absolutely crazy. Um, I blame the cold and the fact that I've been uh, kind of locked indoors for a whole week, but it's fine. So let's try it one more time. What's the most important thing about this time? So we make it fun. It's the last time we're gonna do it together in this video, so we have to make it fun, okay? So have the most fun that you can with it. Really get into the song. It's such a fantastic song. And then try it to the original one we're done, all right? We got this. today probably because I haven't done this in a bit so um, hopefully you guys found me entertaining at least and thank you for being my only friends during quarantine no I have Sean and Alex kind of. just kidding all right so I hope you guys had a lot of fun learning this song I hope you guys are all staying well and okay and happy during this time and I hope that these videos can bring you some extra happiness because happy tappiness you know um, speaking of, uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I forgot to mention it at the beginning of the video, but do that, do that thing where you hit the subscribe button and you join the tap fam because we have so much to offer you. Free tap choreography tutorials like this. We have tap technique exercises, um, like step tutorials, like I mentioned below. There's like every step on the planet down there. And if I named a step differently than you know it, just tell me the name that you use it by. Like, like you know how some people call Broadway a Shirley Temple and a Shirley Temple like a Manhattan or something? Um, it's the same step. I love hearing about like the names of steps. So write those in the description whenever you're watching one of those videos and you're like, I call this something else. Tell me, I wanna know. So technique exercises, step tutorials, choreography tutorials. I am really chatty today. <laughs> uh, vlogs, challenges, listening to me talk, usually cats. We don't have any cats today so strange um, but also hit that thumbs up because I made it through this video you have no idea how difficult this was today for me to film so, because I haven't filmed in a little while and I haven't like done anything in a little while just like from trying to quarantine and be safe so this video was really really difficult for me to film for some reason so hit that thumbs up just to give me some love um, the editing is gonna be intense <laughs> so thank you guys so much for being here with me today and as always Thank you for dancing with me.